hi guys welcome back to this african perspective thank you for stopping by i really appreciate you guys it is actually very abnormal and doesn't make any sense but it has been normalized or rather these companies or jobs have really normalized the fact that for entry level jobs now they will be demanding for years and years of experience asking for five year experience three year experience six seven and just so many years of experience for an entry level job and when you hear the word entry level job like of course like what does it mean <laughs> like how are you expecting somebody who is trying to get an entry level type of position in your own company to have experience like a lot of years of experience in that field and it's like are you guys not willing to actually you know train we're gonna be checking out this video and see what people actually think about this it's just gonna be a couple of rants on this particular topic but before we get right into this video make sure you click the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video let's get right into it no world is three to five years of experience entry level that's not entry level entry level is zero years you just got out of college you just got out of school you fresh off the press entry level so you can learn you entering into the job market somebody entering into the job market is not going to have three to five years of experience when that became the benchmark i don't know but these companies like to play around i've also been noticing this this habit of office jobs putting hourly wages instead of paying salary why are y'all doing that why are you why are you saying that this job is 15 to 17 18 dollars an hour for a social media manager role for a marketing associate role like what are we talking about here y'all are really trying to play and y'all trying to get away with it like I, i'm over it i'm over it and i'm tired when you go into an interview the interviewer always has some lame dumb ass questions like oh what made you apply to this role why, why do you want to work for this company do y'all not need help did y'all not post that y'all needed help why are you asking me why i'm here i'm here because y'all said y'all need help i read the job description and i have all the qualifications that meet this job so i'm here to interview for the job let's talk about the job i'm not here to talk about why i apply I, do you need help do we align on the help that you need and when can i start I'm is anyone else sick and tired of this job market that we're currently in of course we're tired i've applied to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs at this point i haven't found one job that asked for 10 years of experience for an entry level job. So when I filled it out and they asked me how much experience do I have, I told them I have 99. I have 99 years of experience and I project managed for Noah's Ark. And you know what? I heard back from them. Are people serious that they would consider 99 years of experience? I should be retired. I should be dead maybe. And that's what it takes to get a response back from employers your resume is extremely impressive thank you all of these awards and a master's fantastic that's so good to hear unfortunately i don't think it's going to be a good fit for this position but you just said you see we still need somebody with relevant work experience i thought this was entry level what we mean is it's entry level pay uh we do have an entry entry level job you might be right for okay what's that oh it is a fantastic learning experience does it pay well minimum wage oh and while there's no health care or benefits of any kind we do provide provide a sandwich platter for lunch once a quarter. I mean, look, just work really hard and do everything that's asked of you. And I can get a promotion. Once a promotion opens up, you will be in consideration until we ultimately go with an outside hire. Here is why entry level jobs seem to require two to three years worth of experience that you don't have, which doesn't make any sense and isn't fair because they're entry level. Global financial crisis, <laughs> that big recession that happened back in 2008, a whole bunch of people got laid off. And all the mid-level people who got laid off were panicked and freaking out and needed to figure their own shit out. And so they went and took jobs that were too junior for them. Perhaps they took, oh, I don't know, an entry-level position. Uh, what that did is that set a really bad precedent over the last 13 years that has continued on to this very day that we're speaking right now. And it, it meant that entry-level jobs could then require two to three years of experience because 13 years ago, they had this entire workforce that was too senior for the roles that they had. Giant problem. And so your your colleges and universities have not, over the last 12 to 13 years, uh, figured out a way to make up for this gap. That's a very polite way of me saying that they move rather slowly in these kinds of situations. And so you're not crazy for thinking that it's really hard to break into the workforce because it is. Honestly, some people have actually said that they don't know if most of these companies are be asking for, you know, years of experience in a particular field, like for entry level type of roles, like you don't know if it's just wishful thinking. And to be honest, I feel like sometimes a lot of job 
postings that I see about um, different type of positions, be not even only the entry level roles that be having all this type of demands and experiences that they want you to have, requirements and this. Sometimes, yeah, I feel like majority of it is actually wishful thinking. It's something that they would want, but for some type of jobs, maybe you should just to apply. So honestly, this type of stuff are just wishful thinking. If you want to still go for it, just apply for it. Apply, just keep applying. Maybe if they want you and they're interested, and when they get back down to the real world, they might actually consider you and stop with the delusion. Can't believe this is still happening. See this job? It says junior advertising and marketing assistant. Blurred out the company because I don't want people going after them. For a junior job, there's a lot of previous experience that's required. Are they wanting previous experience with B2B customer service and media experience? Knowledge of best practices and what works in print and digital? Gonna go on, you guys can read the rest. Now, according to Fair Work, the definition of a junior is someone that's under 21 years old. From my understanding, this company is wanting to pay a junior that's under 21 years old 40 to 50 grand a year for all of this experience. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It is extremely hard to find a job right now. That's why you have to be careful which job you leave. People are worried about the job market right now. You should not be going to college to land a good paying job. With the value of the degree decreasing so much, it's best you get specialized training like I did to put you ahead in the job market. By focusing on building the right skills versus just getting a degree, employers will be more likely to hire you with a great salary in the tech industry. If you want to learn more about how I did it, just check out my pinned videos. Ultimately, this role needs six years experience. You have four. We cannot accept that. Also, we're a very diverse workplace. You weren't the right fit. I don't usually call if a candidate didn't get the position, but I wanted to let you know personally you were a great candidate. Keep your eye out for new roles here, and I hope you reapply in the future. Good luck out there in the hiring process. Let's talk about something I've been seeing a lot recently. I've been hiring on a lot of what I consider to be entry-level roles at my company. And there's been one common thread amongst the sea of candidates that I've talked to, and that is that most of them don't really know what they're applying to. And what I really mean by that is they don't know anything about the role other than they saw it on LinkedIn. This isn't intended to be a knock on entry level candidates or anything along those lines, but if you are getting interview requests for positions, you need to have a small smidge of an idea of what that job actually entails because otherwise, how are you going to be able to answer questions such as what about this role interests you or what are some characteristics that you think will make you a good fit for this role, right? And so I beg of you, whether you are entry level or not, if you are getting interviews for jobs, please, at the very least, know a little bit about the position that you are interviewing for. You know, now I understand why it was so looked down upon to be living with your parents back in the day. All you had to do was get a job. <laughs> just a job here i am college degree multiple avenues of income side hustles what the fuck am i doing here because if we're being for real what makes you think that i will go and acquire years and years of experience i'll have like five years of experience six years of experience and you think that i'm going to be a uh, going into a job and i will go and be doing an entry level it's only when i'm down bad i have like i literally have no job like maybe in this type of economy like where we're struggling where finding jobs are a challenge and a hassle maybe that is how a person will actually do that but to be honest like there's just certain years of experience you have in a field that i don't think you'll be taking some certain roles or being an entry level does it even make sense for you to be an entry level with five years of experience can we talk about how entry level is just like not entry level anymore and I'm looking for a job in my field, of course. But I would like to know, when did entry level start meaning that you needed a whole bunch of years of experience before getting said job? Like, who in their right mind was like, you know what? I'm gonna call it entry level, but you need like five years of experience. And this is, I believe, a big reason why people aren't getting jobs is because we're trying to get jobs but y'all are making it so hard for us to get jobs.
I was just thinking, do you know how absolutely absurd it is for companies and brands to not want to hire entry-level employees? While it is absurd, it is not surprising. The job market is tough. There's a lot of people coming into the job market that are coming with years of experience, and it's making it really difficult and challenging for those of you that are trying to find an entry-level job. How does one get experience when they don't have experience or limited experience? What I see working for people in that situation are three different things. One, contract work is a big thing right now. I see a lot of people taking contract roles. It's allowing them to go into new opportunities. They can at least get experience under their belt so that way they can add that to their resume. Second thing I'm seeing is that there are people who are using social media as a medium to talk about the areas that they're trying to get into. Creating LinkedIn pages, TikTok pages, Instagram pages, and they're starting to share content to really kind of build out a digital footprint for themselves. And it's actually creating a space where it's opening up doors for people and giving them opportunities or at least something to present to say, hey, I talk about these things on my social media. I have a following. This is something that employers actually are starting to eat up a little bit. Last thing I will say, this is nothing new, but something that I've been seeing people do is outside of applying to the role, or actually taking it a step further and they're creating video cover letters to introduce themselves to personalize their application and help set themselves apart. Not saying you have to do any of these things, but I know the job market is tough. I don't see it getting easier anytime soon. I think that people who say stuff like you shouldn't have to work so hard to get a starting job. After all, a starting salary is only $40,000. Why does one have to work so hard to break in? Shouldn't you have to work harder if you're on the senior end? That actually makes more sense. So I have two points to make on people who think like that. The first and the quicker one is in order to become a CEO, in order to become a managing partner, you have to be so much harder working than all of your peers in order to climb the massive shithole and hellhole that is corporate America. So if you want to get to CEO or partner level, you have got to have been so much more exceptional than people. I mean, even more like the leveling up that you have to do at every single level is exponentially harder. Right. So that's like point one. Number two, why do you have to hustle so hard to get a forty thousand dollar job? I'll tell you why. It's because all the graduates are fighting for a small piece of pie. There isn't an infinite amount of entry level jobs. And I hate to break it to you. There are a lot of people fighting for that spot. And if you cannot make it past the noise and if you do not prove to the powers that be that you are worth investing in because you bring absolutely nothing to the table, let me repeat again. Entry level people bring very little pe uh, very little to the table because by definition you are entry level. So an entry level person does not get to call the shots. They are at the very bottom of the pyramid. And yes, if you don't like capitalism, if you don't like pyramids, too bad. That's how everything is set up. Everything is like a pyramid, including like the pyramid of life, right? So if you're starting at the very bottom and you have this hoity-toity mighty attitude that you think opportunities and doors should just open for you because you exist, then I have a horrible, horrible news flash for you. You are probably going to find it extremely hard to get anywhere with your career, to launch your career to begin with. Because again, I hate to break it to you, at the very bottom level, it is a red sea, my friends. As in everybody is fighting everyone, cats and dogs, for those very limited seats at the table in order to have that investment so that you can progress forward. Because employers are not stupid. They're not just going to hire anyone and train them up and take the humongous risk that is entry-level hiring. They're going to work very hard to pick out these stars, the highest potential people. So if you don't have what it takes to even get to the at the very little level at the bottom of the pyramid, forget the top. You will never even get there. Do you ever feel like you have imposter syndrome when you see all these certifications and years of experience that they require for an entry level cybersecurity analyst role? Well, I'm going to give one of my methods that I use to bypass this and get this job without having all the required skills. Okay, so first I want to let you guys in on a secret. Most of these job descriptions are written by HR departments who don't know much about these certifications or how much experience and what kind of experience is needed to do this job well. Before we start, be sure to leave a follow right now because I'm going to make this into a series and give you guys the exact steps in each video on how to 
get these jobs without having all the requirements. Okay, so the biggest thing is probably the three years experience. You're just starting out and how are you meant to have three years of experience? Some people may have had the privilege of having internships or having a degree apprenticeship where they have had three years of experience, but most of us aren't like that. So how do we go about this? The most important thing that we need to be able to do is complete the tasks that they set us. So on our resume, we need to have cybersecurity projects that we worked on that shows that we can do everything within this job description. The method I use is I copy this whole job description and put it into ChatGPT and I send a prompt within ChatGPT asking what projects I can do to get hired at this company. It would list out a few projects and I would add this to my resume and send off this job application. And in the meantime, I would start working on these projects over the next few days just before an interview is given. And how you'll save time is most of these projects can be used for other similar job roles so you can rinse and repeat the process. If you have any questions or need help with this process, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It is so confusing and, you know, very, very painful. Like, it's a painful situation to actually be in. For you to be done with college, you're done with all this, you've studied, you've studied and majored in that area, that you're, that field you want to go and work in and then you're like, okay, like, yeah. I'm searching for a job and all these jobs just need you to have experience. They need you to have experience in that field. And I'm like, if you all just collectively just want me to have an experience in this particular role that I'm trying to get, how on earth am I supposed to get the experience? Because I'm trying to get the experience working with you. I'm trying to get the experience. Is it not after you've worked? So that's how you're going to get the experience. But if all of them are demanding that you have experience, are you supposed to just go and start up a company yourself and then start? start working in that particular field and be like okay i have experience i don't understand even if they are like at a professional level you hire a manager you hire somebody in different type of roles regardless you're still gonna have to train them i don't care you still have to train that person you have to train them to actually adapt with that environment they are going to start working in regardless of whatever regardless of how many years of experience you've had if you're going into a new job or whatever job you're going into they have to train you but i know that now because of how shitty some companies are they don't even want to train you they just get, get you like oh we've hired you just go and start up doing something like sh you shouldn't you know how to do this you should know better do it do it do it and it's like you're setting people up for failure i just don't know what people are supposed to do because this is a very very bad situation but anyways guys that's it for this video thank you for watching this video the very end you guys let me know what your thoughts are about this video please don't forget to click the like button it really helps with the algorithm subscribe to the channel if you're watching me for the very first time i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye